Hello there YouTube, Farm Man 2013 here today. Today is February 8th, 2015. It's roughly five minutes, ten minutes after seven o'clock here Central Standard Time. And uh, I'm guessing you're wondering what the heck. I got the old 560 sitting here. I was over uh, grinding some feed with it and it kept losing power on me. And my blow by was was blowing a lot by so I decided to overhaul it because it was I knew it needed to be done and it was burning a little bit of oil so I decided to do it my luck that I found that I feel was really good these let's see if I can get it right there these are original IH pistons oh they're not I don't know if they're original but they are IH my guess is they are the original pistons for this tractor and uh, I was looking on the rod bearing oh well, you can't see but I was looking on the rod bearings um the crank or oh, the crankshaft bearings and um, it's still standard it the uh, the bearings still say standard on them so I know my shaft hasn't been ground there's the shaft underneath here so and I got all the pistons pulled loose I managed to find that my rings are um, very well worn. You could take the piston and kind of wiggle it back and forth on the top of the, on, well it was still in the cylinder. So I am tomorrow going to get ordered new rings, piston heads, bearings, and sleeves, and as well the whole gasket set that goes, toward, goes with this so I can rebuild this tractor because it was needing overhaul major time there's the head actually the head is in real good shape uh, let's see if I can flip it here with one hand well hold on here there oh, there we go there we go as you can see it doesn't look too bad they're kind of dirty I think it was it was it, everything's just worn out that's why it, it looks like that but I'm going to take it and have it, uh, the head, uh, the valves ground and gone through. So that way that's all back to good and running condition. Um, have, the, have the valves checked. I don't know if the valves were, were ever replaced. I'm not for certain on that. They do have, there's a couple of them in here that have some casting numbers. Uh, let's see here if I can find a good one. There's the six. Oh, focus. 637, if I believe right. Yep, 637. So, I got that. And then I, uh, I've been working on it. I got the head. I got the genius I am. I went and filled the gas tank a couple days ago, not thinking. And then it gave me that guff the other day, and I just got really angry and said, forget it. So I brought it in and had to empty the gas tank yesterday that was fun running it into five gallon jugs but uh, then I got over here I got this panel loose and I got my wires just hanging and wires are everywhere I got them all marked there's blue tape on a lot of the wires where I know where they go there's some of them in there that are you can't not know where they go um, so and I got that what in the heck where the heck did that wire? Oh, that. Never mind. I, I, I just freaked myself out. I seen this wire sitting here. And that hooks up to the positive, positive terminal on the on the battery cable. So on the the positive positive battery cable terminal right here. Anyways, so I was doing a little work and I got it torn out and was looking at my when I pulled the head loose. I uh, pulled this cover off because it was dripping like a son of a gun. So I uh, knew I had to put a new gasket in here, but I was working on it and I was pulling the, the sleeves. Oh, that light is bright. Hold on a second. I'm gonna shut that light off. There we go. Um, I was pulling the, pulling the head off and I noticed these two valve, these two um, push rods were kind of awkward. Well, I got to looking at them and I pulled them out I know I'm kind of a clutter bug 
and I managed to find this. Let's go over here to the table. That is what I found. I was quite distraught, quite angry. This is number two, kind of S-shaped. I was looking at it going, what the heck is wrong with this thing, you know, and pulled it out and I thought, what the heck could have bent that? If anybody's got any idea what the heck could, could have bent that, I would appreciate it. And then come to this one and I'm thinking, what in the Sam hell did that? Because that is unreal. It's got the, a groove worn into it right there. A, not, a good notch worn into it right there. So, I got to get a set, new set, two new rod, push rods for it. But that is about the only major malfunction I found besides the knowing the pistons are loose on the inside. Other than that, everything else came out good. And it looks good. Um, that's caused. That was why it was it was running running so poorly. Um, yeah, I know. I'm kind of improvised with rags here. And I got to rebuild the carb, just because, just for, uh, just for precautionary reasons. Rebuild the carb and uh, go through that. I got a new set of belts hanging here. I went and put, purchased a new set of belts today. If I believe right, the belts. These are the two older belts. This one here is the generator and and, uh, and the water pump belt. And then the other one goes to the fan, from the crankshaft to the fan. I didn't know, but both of them belts are the exact same. I took them to my local uh, shop today and uh, looked, at, looked at belts. And, and it, uh, it's got a horrible crack in there, right along the edge there. Um, and they, they both came out to be the same length. So I purchased two of the same belts. Um, like I said, for my water pump. The water pump here runs from the, from the uh, crankshaft to the water pump over to the generator. And then the one on the head is the it just runs right up top here. So, so other than that, that's what I found with it. I'm standing in the light. Um, hopefully to be able to pull it put it apart and put it back together again um this so far is like i said what, what i've come up with i've pulled i pulled a lot off this tractor there is a lot this is the first time i've had this tractor down this far um i disconnected my gas tank from that from the um the cradle type deal whatever it is to sit that the gas tank sits in because it sits sits it bolts there there and then uh up here somewhere i got crap laying in it um it bolts there and then that sits around the back of the uh shaft the steering shaft so but on that note i feel it looks pretty good the electrical's kind of sketchy i mean the wiring is not the best but it charges and it everything is do working good on my electrical so i'm not too upset with that i might have to rewire it after a while um it wasn't too hard to get the wiring out. I mean, it was basically just disconnect them, and I marked marked what went to where. These two goofy-looking wires here go to the coil. They go to the positive on the coil. And then this, this long, long-gated bugger, the goofy other one here, goes to my horn. And I got the, let's see, this one here is wrapped up funny. Um, that, let's see, these two of them here go to the... One goes to the F on the generator, the other one goes to the A. And then this black wire here just bolts or just screws down to, I believe there's a spot where it, where it was screwed to the, come on. Oh, I don't want to drop it. Right there on this point right here. I'm guessing that's a ground. Um, so, oh no, and I had a heck of a time getting the antifreeze out of the sucker. It was, I pulled the, found the drain plug on the bottom of the on the bottom of the radiator and god forbid that was a real pain in my butt but i got it got it torn apart and this is as it is uh if anybody knows any uh information if these are original pistons or not uh here let me grab a rag uh, and i'm gonna wipe off that top of that piston and 
show the marking what was on there. This is just an older dirty rag here. So I had this one pretty good and clean. Um, the things I found imprinted is, uh, let's see if it'll focus. Okay, there we go. It's uh, got an A in the center. All of them have an A in the center. And then they say front Z20 367642-RI, whatever that means. If anybody knows what that means, I would appreciate it too. And then uh, I found, like here's a D, there's a D here. As, as I go down, it's got an A, A, C, uh, yeah, C, it's not very, yeah, there's a C, A, focus. A and then I got a D and then a C. Well, the C is right here. It's very dirty. And then the uh, another D right there. So that's what I found. That's what I'm doing. This is what I'm working on. Uh, it's uh, going. I guess you could say it's working. Um, I'm gonna feel quite quite better when I get it done because then I can. Uh, work with it a lot more efficiently um, the serial number on this thing I was trying to figure this out um, to make sure it's a 58 model my serial number you can't really you can't really read it but I can read it to you it's three four eight seven it's only a four four digit serial number and I know for a fact that's a low serial number so this is, an, this is a 1958, and uh, on the bottom here of the tag, there's a S and a Y. S and a Y, I believe. Um, what that means, I don't know. I know they had problems when they, brought, when they built these with the transmissions going bad in them, but I think that was only, if, if I think, that was only in the diesel models, um, and I know there was a special marking on the tag that showed if the transmission was torn apart and had new parts put in it but I'm not remembering what that marking is at the moment so but that's what we got with the 560 got quite a bit to go here gotta get my pistons gotta get the sleeves pulled and then uh, um, pull the sleeves and uh, Get new pistons, sleeves, rings, bearings, gaskets, basically an overhaul kit, and uh, rebuild it um, because it uh, isn't the best here. Um, I don't know how to tell if it's the There's the head gasket. I don't know how to tell if it's the original. I'm guessing it isn't because there's more than likely that it blew out the head gasket before. But... I have a sneaking suspicion those are still the original pistons um, and hopefully rings that would be really because that would be really cool to be the first person since 1958 to have these pistons removed from this tractor you know um, if I made that figure right 1968 to 19 or 1968 to 2015 I mean that's um, Quite a few years actually. It's almost, let's see, 58. That's about 50, 58 years. Or 50, 57 years. Almost 60 years since some pistons have been out. So, not bad. Not bad at all. So, but for that, that's what we got. That's what's up with the five. Uh, and I don't know if the original, if this is the original tack either, but the tack right here reads focus. Come on, I hate my dang phone some days. It doesn't want to focus. Come on. Well, it reads two, two, one, three. Uh, come on. I wish it would focus. Two one three 
eight four um is what I'm getting. Two one three eight four. Yep. Um I don't know if that is the original hours. Um my guess is that would be two thousand two hundred and thirteen or let's see here. Twenty twenty two thousand 138 hours is what I'm kind of guessing at. It's at. There we go. Now it's focused. That's kind of what I'm guessing it's at. I don't think this is the original tack, but um, but that's what I'm thinking it's at. So, but for that, that's uh, what's going on with the five. I'm kind of been just working at it. I actually tore it apart yesterday, and today I just pushed the pistons out about 15, 20 minutes ago. So. After that, it, uh, that's what it is, so I'll hopefully get some more videos and uh, get her put back together.